G'day mate and welcome back to Capital History with me, Jenny. In our last episode we went and fixed the food, we went and fixed the food and made sure we had plenty of extra food so we could make some extra chicken feed, well some extra animal feed so we could feed the chickens, being the only animals that we have available on the island. But uh, that means in theory we should be able to go across and now we should be able to do medical. So we can actually uh, make sure that the people, the, the other other animals that we have on the island, uh, can be worked to death forever rather than just dying off from the flu. But uh, there's a catch, there's one small catch, one hiccup in the system and that is we fix the food. We fix the food, we made the food food runs so well that um well there's a small backup there's a small backup there's a small blockage in the food system because i did explain i did run through the rules when we first installed the sushi belts for the wonderful food system that they could never back up they could never stop running and unfortunately well with our improvements they're now backing up they're not running so therefore today's episode rather than getting onto the medical and treating the other animals on the island we need to go back and make sure that the other animals on the island don't run out of any food by us um well improving their food system by um making sure that the backup Cups are cleared. We cannot have any um, blockages in the system. Yes, yes. Meanwhile, the wastewater treatment and sewage system is running fine. But uh, before we get to any of today's plans, any of today's jobs, I need to ask the very important question. Of course, that is, can I borrow a like? I just need to borrow a like. I need to borrow a like. Oh, in the video, not happy with the video. Didn't enjoy the video. You know what? I'm going to keep you like anyway. At the start of every episode, I like to thank those. I like to thank those that go above me on, those that choose to support the channel. And today, I need to thank um, this particular excavator here. This particular wonderful excavator here, who's part of our, well, normally our mining copper team, but now is part of our rapid response team. I need to thank uh, the wonderful Dwayne G. Not uh, the Dwayne R, uh, Dwayne uh, the Rock Johnson. Uh, this is his uh, brother, his cousin. He's a uh, member of the family, extended member of the family, uh, Dwayne G. Dwayne G who's in charge of, um, well, garbage. Because I need to do a small saw, a small problem over here and it seems there's garbage on the ground. So um, we're gonna put Dwayne G, Dwayne G of the garbage team in charge of cleaning that up. Now, whilst he's on his way over there, I need to um, do a few solutions, to do, do a few fixes before we get into today's problem. Our main problem is, uh, well, we have uh, far too much fruit and therefore the fruit's not getting um, disposed of to allow the vegetables to flow through. Because the vegetables do not flow through, eventually the people are gonna run out of vegetables, which means, um, well, we're gonna have some problems. On top of that, the animal feed system seems to be going a lot better, but uh, it looks like maybe I could have a slightly higher throughput on our belts. So we're gonna come all the way back to here. Uh, we're gonna start with the upgrade button and I'm gonna select all that. And I wanna get every single U-shaped belt I can see and hit the upgrade button. Yep, and then we're gonna throw uni at the problem to make it go away. Uh, whilst we're upgrading things, I'm thinking, what's that? Three, six, seven, seven, seven farms. Uh, let's do seven farms at the same time and have them upgraded as well. Uh, that'll probably uh, remove most of the resources I, or at least most of the glass that I still have available uh, on the map. Yeah, let's play glass, that's what I was expecting. All right, so can we just double check? Uh, there is no U-shaped belts there, all right. At the same time, whilst we're double checking, triple checking, and making sure everything runs fine, we're gonna go from here to here, here to here, that tile. Uh, I'm gonna say all the U-shaped belts, except that one. I don't want that one upgraded, cool. Uh, with that done, we're gonna throw uni at that problem too. All right, now my main issue is I need to have uh, the aromatherapy, the aromatherapy digesters or the uh, aerobics, aerobics digesters. All depends on how you want to pronounce the wonderful words we have on the screen. I need to make sure these are up and running. These are going to dispose of our excess poppy once we actually have poppy uh, being planted. Also our excess vegetables and excess fruit. And they're going to turn them into fuel gas and compost. Now the fuel gas, the compost, well, I need to um, burn off the fuel gas and the compost, I need to dump the sea. But before I get to those problems, I need to solve a few other problems. Uh, first one being uh, that uh, Dwayne, Dwayne is done. Dwayne is done. He's found the trash. He has scooped the trash and that means I can fix these belts, which means Dwayne, uh, pop back over here and get the copper done, please. All right. Uh, Vegeta, what's your problem? Vegeta, do you even know what your problem is? Uh, your problem is... You're trying to go to one of our farms. One of our farms that has too much food. Yes, yes. Sorry, Joanne. Uh, sorry, sorry, Vegeta. No, 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 
no, no, no, no, no, no. This is the problem. We're starting any backups on not just the flat belts, uh, but also the U-shaped belts. Uh, so this is why I need to sort of solve things as quickly as possible. All right. So what I need to do is I need to get these guys up and running. Now, to get these guys up and running, I need to find somewhere to put them first. Uh, I think I'm going to take that. And I'm going to put you... Let's put you here. Uh... Which the inputs and the outputs. Uh, you're inputting that way and you're outputting. Uh... Okay. Can I put this? Here. I don't that pipe. Uh, I need an output to the right, or but either way, either way, I'm gonna have to flip something. All right. So what I need to do is I need to get these guys up and running. Now to get these guys up and running, I have a few other problems I need to fix along the way because I don't make my life easy, and I don't make. I do. Hang on. Are you guys backing up? Do we have too much animal feed? No. No. Uh, I don't make my life easy. I don't have a. Uh, well, standalone system. I like to have uh, all my systems, well, uh, wherever possible and wherever it makes sense to have them interlinked. Because they're interlinked, they're more efficient. So I need to burn off fuel gas. At the same time, I'm also burning off uh, biomass and potentially excess animal feed, should I ever have any potential excess animal feed. Also, right over here, I'm burning off ethanol. I wish to combine all these systems together into one, you know, mega system. But uh, I need to start over here before I get to over here. So we're going to start over here with not burning off any items, but um, actually the chem plant. The chem plant that's going to turn our excess cooking oil into diesel because eventually our cooking oil is going to fill up. And I need to make sure that when it fills up, it definitely has a place to go. So uh, our plan is to combine our cooking oil with diesel because that's really the only place, the place I have to make sure it goes as an overflow, which also means that um, my canola will not back up. But if I have diesel here, I need trucks to come collect it. Now, I could take my diesel and I could plumb, plumb that diesel over into, well, our diesel lines and make sure it goes as a priority in and therefore that should solve the problem. But uh, that's a lot of plumbing. That's a lot of plumbing, a lot of headaches. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to take this building and we're going to shove you right about here. We're going to remove that. Uh, and we're going to um, split things slightly differently. Yes, uh, I do want a tank for my diesel and a pipe. And we're going to run that into there. And then I need to do something with my diesel. In my case, I am going to grab a diesel generator and we're going to burn it off. Literally burn it off for the sake of burning it off. No other reason, but uh, it solves all my problems. So we're going to run our pipe into here. And um, what's this snack of roos? If I put in one more snack of roo building, you would end up one more tile this way. So you can all slide one more tile that way. That way I can feed one more snack of roo building should I need to. I doubt I'll need to. And you'll need an exhaust, which means... I'm going to put one of those on there and exhaust building there. Cool. All right. So our plan is we're going to build this. Uh, yeah, the whole thing, which means I don't need uh, this, this or this. What I do need is I do need to make sure that you don't run because I don't think you're going to need to run. And I do need to set you to be diesel. And I do need an alert. If you're ever full, you should probably tell me about it. And I do need to get cooking oil and ethanol in here. Now I have cooking oil in this pipe, this pipe, this pipe, this pipe. Yes, this pipe, which goes through this balancer, which says, oh, balancer, balancer, which says put all the cooking oil in here first, which then goes off to all the food places. But should you not be able to fit any more cooking oil in there, you could bring your cooking oil along here and you can now plug it into this building. So that's going to be our plan for our cooking oil. Right, problem number one sorted. Problem number two is ethanol. I need to make sure you also have a source for ethanol. So I need to do something with ethanol right about here. Now, I do not need that. That's the cooking oil pipe. We don't need that pipe anymore. Uh, this is our ethanol pipe, which I do technically need. Uh, but for right now, be you're in my way, so you can go away. Uh, this is also the ethanol pipe, which we're going to remove as well because you're also in my way. Yep. Uh, also, these belts are in my way. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove uh, the potato belt and I'm going to remove the corn belt because they're both in my way. Uh, so is that little bit of pipe there. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to remove part of the tofu belt and also part of the snackaroos belt. Cool, with those all cleaned up, uh, I'm going to take 
my potatoes and run them along here and in here. And then I'm gonna take my corn and run it straight over the top and in there. Now that is gonna give me a small problem. Uh, that is that I have potato on top and now I have corn on top, which I'm sure we'll sort out in a little while. No, no, bad truck. Bad truck, bad truck, bad truck, bad truck, bad truck, bad truck, bad truck. Bad truck. Bad truck. dog. Do not set that. You don't have a name. I can't even blame you by name. All right. So that's the first thing I need to do. Second thing I need to do is, I, like I said, I need to get ethanol in here. Yeah, to get ethanol in here. Oh, no. Actually, the second thing I need to do is probably run that. Uh, uh, bottom belt, right? Yeah, bottom belt snackaroos. Okay, I need to run snackaroos, snackaroos back through there. All right, second thing I need to do is I need to get ethanol. Now, ethanol needs to transport. Have a pipe balancer. It's also going to need a storage tank um, of the small variety. Yeah, small storage tank. Okay, now uh, I need to do a couple of things with ethanol. Uh, first off, I need to get my ethanol pipe, being this pipe, and I need to run it from there into my balancer. Cool. After it runs through my balance, I need to run it with a new balancer. Then after it runs through my balance into my new balance, I need to run it into new new balancer? New new balancer, right? Uh, so you need to be priority elsewhere, and then you need to be priority into there. Yes. Okay. Uh, so that's going to be our plan. So now I have a giant tank to put all my ethanol in. Cool. Uh, next thing I need to do is not run... That's ethanol. I don't want to run ethanol this way anymore. I also do not want to have... This is water. Do I need water? I don't know if I need water anymore. I don't think I'm going to need water. We'll disconnect that there for right now. I am not going to have this anymore. We're not going to be burning ethanol here anymore. So we're going to get rid of all that. Uh, I do need to take the ethanol somewhere. So we're going to be prioritizing this to go to another place, but we'll talk about that in a future video. And then this is going to fill into the tank after, uh, if the tank gets full, if the tank gets full, that's probably more accurate. Uh, then we need an overflow. And this is going to be my, ga my guarantee that you always have ethanol at least. So that's going to come out from the tank. You always have ethanol. It's only if you end up with excess uh, cooking oil will this ever run. When this runs, it will make us some diesel. The diesel will go in here. The diesel will get burnt off. It'll give us some power. We're going to set you to power priority number one, so that way it's guaranteed to be burnt. Okay. Next on our list is tofu. Uh, you know what? Tofu can probably slide into that gap. I'll take it. Tofu needs to be completely rebuilt later, but you know, it'll, it'll do for right now. All right, so that still leaves me a problem of what happens to my ethanol backs up and I still haven't done anything about our, um, um, well, I can do something about that right now. Uh, I haven't done anything about my flat belts. My flat belts that are still very, very full and are therefore not running properly. So I need to fix that. So what we need to do is we need to get uh, this system, well, this system built. Now, to get this system built, I need to um, consolidate my ethanol burning, uh, also consolidate my biomass and potential excess animal feed burning. And we're going to be doing that with... Um, well, the delete key, my favorite key. Uh, we're gonna remove that, we're gonna remove that. We're gonna remove you, 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 uh, you, 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 and you, cool. Uh, I do want one of these in the future. Uh, I don't want you right here right now. I also don't want that belt, that belt, or that. Okay, I do want one of these in the future. So we're just gonna copy this and we're gonna put this here as well. With, oh, no, the floating pipe went away, cool. Uh, so I don't want that either. Also don't want you. And I don't want you. Or that little bit. Cool. Uh, that'll do us for right this second. All right. So with that all ironed out and all removed, I'm going to start with... What is this? This is a pipe of water. Uh, can we get the pipe of water? That's up? Yeah, that's up. Uh there and then up the top cool. 
Can I get the pipe of water to just get the hell out of my way? Cool. And... What the hell are you trying to do? No! No. 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 Cool. All right. Uh, what I need to do is I need to put down this. Now, I need to put this somewhere where I can consolidate um, all my fuel gas and other things. And I think we're going to be putting this directly under that pipe. And the pipes are running to the right, but my belts are running to the left, which is definitely the wrong way around. Uh, but that's 369. Let's go with 12 of them, which is maybe overkill. But I think it's better to have too many of them rather than not enough. In fact, uh, as we're dealing with sushi belts, it's definitely better to have too many of them rather than not enough. Okay, so this is going to give me a problem that this is not going to run until I get rid of this little bit of biomass, which is a whole separate issue. All right, we're going to get uh, that built. We are not going to have that part built, and we are definitely going to be plugging uh, this belt from here into here. Cool. With that built, and then flip to run the other direction, we can... Remove that, and we're going to remove that. That's for our poppy. We'll deal with poppy in a little bit. Why for you? I guess because that one didn't flip. All right, so I need to get these running. I need to get these running by flipping all the belts the correct direction. I uh, need to flip the poppy belt, but we'll worry about that later because I don't have any poppy planted. So, yeah, that falls under later jetty jurisdiction. Okay, so with this all done, we should be able to bring a whole pile of... Uh, fruit and veggies in here and start converting them to compost and fuel gas. Now, my compost. We're going to take the compost and we're going to run it, um, well, this way. Mm, to here. To here. To here. Cool. And then I'm going to put a bucket to put it in. All right. With that done, uh, that'll at least deal with the compost problem. Now, unfortunately, this is going to be a little bit awkward to get to. The good news is uh, my corn bucket, my corn bucket, my thoroughly uh, wonderful corn bucket, uh, that um well is sort of important that we have full of corn because it makes sure that we keep producing corn mash to keep making ethanol up here to keep making medical just run out so uh we're on a bit of a time limit we're been on a bit of a time limit for a little while i need to know you if you are 75 percent full otherwise i don't care so that gives us fuel gas okay so with our fuel gas and our little boiler, uh, we should be able to, well, start disposing of some items. So first thing I want to do is take my belt, um, my wonderful belt of biomass. I'm going to bring it uh, this way. To here, to here. Cool. Uh, so that's going to be on my biomass. Now, I also need to get water, which is conveniently this pipe right here which we're going to just run over the top and we'll just leave you there right there for right now okay so can i get that built all right uh now this means biomass could travel that way but i still don't have fuel gas traveling that way nor do i have ethanol that we've left over here traveling this way either we've got a few things we need to still collect okay so with those two done i need to take my steam and my steam's going to come out and it's going to get put into a turbine. Now, when it goes into a turbine, it's going to be, uh, well, basically burned off. Burned off uh, quick and easy and provide us, well, with some mechanical force. Mechanical force is going to go into this generator, which we're just going to crank to priority number one because I want this running no matter what. We've got no auto balance on, so we might as well run it. But, 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 uh, there's a couple of problems. There's a couple of problems with this idea. Uh, first problem we're going to have is I need to have a second boiler. Uh, second boiler over here, which means I actually have two gases input, which means, oops, no, uh, you need to separate. Yep. Uh, you are going to be outputting 48 steam, and you are going to be outputting 48 steam, and if they were both to run at the same time, you only absorb 48 steam. Now, I could double this. I could double this, and that's probably not a bad idea. Let, let's go with that idea. Let's take that, and let's just move you along a bit, and we'll just put in a second one of these, and then move you on again, and we'll put in a second second one. And second one, and the second one, and then let's shrink everything down just a little bit so it don't all fits in pretty neatly and stuff. And 
uh, we're going to add some balances. We're going to add some balances. Uh, we're going to add a balance uh, uh, here. You might be too long now. We'll see. Okay, uh, we're going to add a balance. So what I want to do is I want to bring in steam number one, steam number two. I want to take steam out plus steam out. The idea being that we're going to prioritize only running one of them. Now, once it's come out here, I want to uh, run them into the next build. This side I don't need to have balance on, so this side should be fine. And I need to have water in here and all sorts of other things, but that, that, that's our start. That's our start. Vegetables, vegetables, fruit, wheat. Okay, wheat's less fine. Oh, hang on. You can't run. Okay, wheat's fine. Wheat's fine. It's it's caused by an unrelated issue. All right. Uh, can I put in a pipe balancer right here for water? Uh, let's just do that just so we can turn some stuff on. So we're going to bring in water. We're going to bring out water. We're going to bring out water. Uh... No. Water, water, water. Water, water. Okay. Uh, that'll be our water. That'll be our biomass. That'll be an extra bit of pipe. Uh, that we can build. Except, we actually turned this one off. And that means I'm going to turn that one off as well. Uh, yeah, we'll do it that way. We'll do it that way. Okay. Now. This means that we can start burning the biomass. Uh, I'll even burn it even better if I apply a smokestack. And that should be step number one. Now, my problem is going to be, and it's one that we're going to have, uh, well, pretty much instantly as soon as I take my fuel gas from here. And I run this through... I can run through that gap. Okay. Uh, height one. Whoop. Into that tile. And then... Up. Hello. This this way. Straight lines, please. Straight lines. Uh, yeah, that's. Sh Let's run it this way, just on the off chance. Okay. After plugging uh, my after plugging my fuel gas, I'm gonna have a problem, and I already have a problem because I didn't apply an output. But my problem is you're gonna make 48 steam because uh, I'm gonna turn off that you're going to make 48 steam and you're going to make 48 steam and you only absorb 48 steam because the other one's turned off the other one's in case we need to expand the system i don't know if we need to expand the system but maybe we'll need to need to expand the system now the good news is i do have a backup plan i have a backup plan on my backup plan with a backup plan on my backup plan and that is i finally found a use for thermal storage it took me this long but i finally found a use for this stupid building uh so what we're going to do is I'm going to make sure that you two have a priority. Mm. Yeah, I don't think I want two of you. Yeah, I don't want two of you. Uh, turns out I changed my mind. No, nope, you're going to go away. You're going to go away. Uh, you're going to go to... Hmm. Delete. You're going to go there. Uh, delete, delete, delete. You're going to go here. And you're going to go here. Delete, delete. Yep, I prefer that. Uh, unpause. Cool. Uh, can I get a pipe? Can we go pipe? Did you pipe? And then I need to pipe you. Uh, into. Where is it? It is water. It is a cooling tower large. Uh, I need you to... Shh, no. That's how? You need to slide over even more. Alright. Copy it all. Put it here. Remove everything. I need the extra space. Uh, you need to make it all go away. 
All right, pick up the whole build and we're gonna put it all the way over here where I have lots of space to build. Cool. Because uh, there's a couple of things I need to get up and running as part of this build. Go straight line. Straight line. That might be too far. There you go, fine. We'll take the middle ground. Okay, you to there. Built. Uh, crap. No, I don't know if I want those there. Uh, build. And build. Okay. So, uh, you need to output your depleted steam into a cooling tower. Uh, that's going to be very important. Okay. So, step number one. Step number two is you need an exhaust. Can I just give you an exhaust? It's a temporary solution. All right. Uh, second thing I need to do is I need to make sure that my water comes out of here and into. Uh, no, I, I. All right, fine. I have too much space in the opposite direction. It's all right. We burn off some stuff. Things are running again. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. All right. Let's try this for a third time. You are gonna go here. Does that give me enough space? No. Can you go away? Can you go here? That's better. Okay. First thing I need to do. Let's let's start again. First thing I need to do is I need to merge my steam together. Okay. So we're gonna take our steam. Uh, we're gonna put you in there, and we're gonna put you in there. All right. After I've merged my steam together and over a tile. Yep. Can I try that again? After I've done that. Okay, I need to take my steam and run it into my boiler. Cool. But I need to uh, have that loop around. I need you to be the priority to go that way. Yep. So what I need to do is I need to make sure that the steam runs into the boiler first. Okay. Uh, that is going to be priority number one. Priority number two is uh, once I have my depleted steam, it's Take my now returned water and run it back into my balancer oh, oh, over here with a priority input from there. Okay, my third thing I need to do is if I have too much steam, I need to take that steam and I need to put it somewhere. That is going to be into thermal storage. We're going to be able to store high pressure steam in here. Don't forget, we're prioritizing it to go into, well, the boiler first. That's going to be number one priority. Uh, yeah. Now, once I have done that, I need to, uh, take the now depleted steam and plug that into a cooling tower as well. So as I have a maximum output of 48 and 48, we're guaranteed I can burn 48 here. On top of that, uh, 48 and 48 equals 96. So I can turn all that wonderful, um, steam back into water and plummet back into the system and have that as the high priority input. But... You're just gonna fill up. You're just gonna fill up. You're gonna fill up with a whole bunch of steam and that's not good enough. I need to get rid of that steam. I also need to provide this building water for it to, um, well, turn my stored heat back into real steam. So I need to take a water pipe and run that up and over there, into there. So now you have a water in, so you can actually take this stored heat and take it back out. But that stored heat needs to, um, well, go into the, no. Go into this balancer. The uh, reason it needs to go into this balancer is if for some reason this has no actual uh, output, plus this has no output, therefore there'll be a gap in the pipes where there's no steam, it means that I want to take my heat out of here. It helps if the pipe bloody connects. There. There. Thank you. It means I can take my stored heat and I can plumb it into here and run this turbine, which means there's going to be a higher chance it's going to be full of steam high, even when these guys have a shortage. So when there is no steam in these pipes, like right now, when these guys are currently mid cycle, it means that, um, well, some of the stored heat can get out to make sure this turbine keeps running, which means in theory, as the system is set up currently, 
I should never have an issue with um, Steam and throughputs and all those sorts of things. But I need to add a few more items to the system. Although it's fairly complicated as is, we're gonna make it even more efficient or complicated. All depends on how you look at it. Uh, first thing I need to do is plug that into there. Cool. Next thing I'm going to do is the ethanol. The ethanol. Remember the ethanol from earlier? I need to go grab the excess ethanol. So, if you are going to prioritize to the secret uh, unknown item that we'll talk about in a later episode, and then we're going to put all the ethanol in here, if that tank of ethanol fills up, uh, I need to have an overflow. This is going to be our overflow, and it is going to go uh, to there. Uh, to there. It's going to follow the corn. Because why not? Uh, through to... Do I need trucks to get in there? No. Uh, through to here. And then we're going to run past the end of the chicken sheds. And into here. After we get to here, I'm going to bring it over the top here. And then we're going to drop it down to ground level and plug it straight into there. Now, uh, this particular balance... Oh, this particular pipe connection... We'll just be able to have both liquids in at the same time. So it means in theory, you could be burning fuel gas or ethanol. Do I have any way of knowing either if either of these fluids are full? No. What does that mean? It means I need to have a tank. I need to have a tank somewhere uh, with some uh, alerts on it. So I know if the pipes happen to fill up with their corresponding fluids, well, I need to um, add another boiler. I, I really actually didn't want you there, but okay, you know, the leetsies. Can I put my fuel gas from here to here? And then my fuel gas from there to there. Well, no, I can't prove it. Okay, it's just gonna look a little bit stupid. That's fine, uh, build that. Okay, the cut. This one on the other hand is gonna come into here and we're gonna go ethanol down, ethanol up, uh, delete. Yeah, I'm going to move it over as well. Cool. Uh, ethanol down. And... Oh, ethanol up. And then all I need to do is set this to ethanol because it's going to be empty for right now. Tell me if you're full. And tell me if you're full. Also, trucks, please don't bring shit in here. All right, so that should solve this little problem. But, but we're not done. We're not done. We're not done. We do need to check uh, back here that, uh, well, uh, fruit is definitely moving, as is veggies. They're be definitely both coming down here. We definitely have every one of these digesters running. We can also see that our belts of other products are now moving, but, um, well, they're getting blocked here. So I need to build another one of those and another one of those. And then in theory, we can get rid of that stuff faster. But the problems continue. Uh, the problems continue because I have biomass, which is this one. And I need to run that to there and that to there. I need to have a storage for biomass. I need to know if the biomass backs up. Uh, so we're going to remove that. We're going to set that to there. We're going to say, tell me if you fill. On top of that, I need to get a second storage, another storage, another storage, which was not going to be this one. It's going to be animal feed. Uh, yes, and animal feed, if there's too much of it, would normally pop out this belt, but this belt doesn't go anywhere. But I can't have animal feed back up, because the animal feed backs up, that means that we have a new problem, uh, and I don't want problems. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring the animal feed in here, and then I said no. I'll say no to this too. Cool. I'll say no to this as well. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to have the animal feed come through here and you're 100% full. Why? Why? You make six and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve times... Uh, let's go with six is 72 and you only burn 72. So as long as you're burning at full speed, which you are currently, because the belts are backed up, and the belts are backed up how far? To like halfway along. Okay, it'll clear eventually. 
All right, uh, so this should make sure that animal feed can also get into this wonderful boiler. Yeah. Uh, now, uh, we're not finished. We're not finished. There's a couple more things that we need to tag into this lovely system. Right here, we're dumping a whole lot of carbon dioxide. A whole lot of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Now, I could be putting that carbon dioxide into a chem plant and converting that into graphite. If I converted that into graphite, I would be able to capture that graphite and then I'd be able to burn that in our arc furnaces and, um, well, well uh, supplement our coal. But this pipe over here is already for a substantial amount of CO2 from this system, which means, um, well, I either have to bring that CO2 to here or this CO2 to there. Uh, I think in this particular case, we're gonna grab our CO2 little building and we're gonna fit you, oh gosh, uh, I thought I had more room. Can I do two here? <sighs> oh, I can. Do I do two here or do I do... No, I think we're going to put it over there. All right. Uh, in that case, we're going to remove you. Four heat. Good. That's, that's perfectly fine. I'd love to set an alert. Notify me if you're full. Because uh, if you're full, that's a problem. Uh, but it turns out the building doesn't have the option. Uh, okay. Do, do, do. We're gonna bring that to here, then to here, and then to here, and then on top of the corn belt, it seems. And... Okay, this is a temporary belt. Yes. Okay, can I remove that? Oh, and then belts get in the way. Uh, no, it's okay. Uh, actually, no, we're on top of corn, so we can not duck through that gap, because that gap doesn't exist, but we can go around, and it doesn't exist here either. Okay. In that case, can I come to here, go sideways, go up, up? No? Okay. Uh... We'll come out a couple of tiles, and then we'll go to here, and then we'll duck down and plug into that balancer. Okay, because that balancer needs to feed this building. All right, and you're set to empty, and nobody's emptying you. Um, delete. There you go. We've now been empty. Cool. So that should have, hopefully, no, uh, helps if I build the pipe. Cool. That should have all our CO2 in it. So that should plumb the CO2 that way. Meanwhile, you have completely powered down because you're only burning one of the resources, not both the resources. So hopefully with this powering back up, you should stay mostly up and running, which is really what I'm looking for. All right. Uh, and then the bread belt. I just need you to plug in here. Like, it, it, it's a temporary belt. It's just to burn off what bread we have still in storage, uh, delete, which is 2,000. Once that's gone, uh, it means this belt can disappear. And yes, putting in a balancer and forcing in a priority would definitely be better, but I don't really want to. All right, so high supply of fuel gas, we know about that. Uh, could not store all potatoes, we sort of know about that. Uh, Fort Knox has a high supply of gold, again. Oop. Uh, have another gold box, done. Uh, Inner has no designations. That is true. Inner, come dig here. Uh, edging team has no available designations either. Edging team can come over here and rip this out. And high supply of compost. Because I forgot to say empty. All right, with that done, uh, and the edging team digging things down one more layer, it means that I am going to tell them to fill all this in with dirt now. Because uh, I really want to have the inside of the crater nice and neat, nice and neat. Yeah, nothing but dirt everywhere. Uh, Got to keep, you know, keep our style, right? Make sure that, you know, everything's clean so we can see all the paths the trucks are taking. And the answer is all of them. That's the path the trucks are taking. All right. So with that done and that done, you should make graphite. You should have CO2 in it. You should also have CO2 in it. Do I need a second one of these future? Probably. Uh, as for our buckets, you are no longer super full. You're perfectly fine. You're meant to be full. You're fine. You're fine. Uh, this stuff is being filtered out. Maybe not fast enough, but that's probably due to it's backed up again. 
uh, it is due to it being backed up again. It will clear eventually, it just needs probably a little bit of runtime. We don't have too much stored heat, which is also a good sign. And you are prioritizing the freshest steam, not the oldest steam, because every single time we put a piece of steam through here, we do suffer a loss. It's a 20%, 20 loss in heat to reproduce or re reheat the previous the steam that was stored. Yes, that's the words I'm looking for. All right. Uh, so the only other thing I need to do is we swapped that belt, uh, which is going into corn storage. Yep. Uh, and we swapped that belt, which is going to potato storage. Uh, my problem is, is, well, I'd really like to kill both these. So what we're going to do is put an alert on there. Tell me when you're empty. And put an alert on there and tell me when you're empty. Or when you're empty, then I can do the switcheroo. switcheroo but till then... Um, well, I guess we're just going to have a complete backup on potato and corn, which should mean all the animal feed in the world. So much animal feed, in fact, that I'm going to unpause, unpause, unpause all of you. And in here, I'm going to say I would like 300, 250 chickens. That'll do us. 250. Uh, 250, 300, whatever. Uh... And more chickens with some more chickens. Cool. All right. So I have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that's 22. Uh, 22 chicken sheds. You process 3, 6, 9, 12, uh, 15, 18. So you process 18 chicken sheds worth of chickens, which is, um, we have a lot more than that. Uh, you process three chicken sheds by yourself. Uh, so I think I want two of you running and therefore if we're making six of these each So that's six twelve twenty four Thirty something thirty six uh, You use twenty four So I can definitely have a second one of those running I'm pretty sure I can have a third of these running with the two of these running which means in theory we can get our sausage production up and running because the sausage belt is one of the belts that are not full. Uh, sausage storage is not doing great. Not doing great at all. As for, what's this other belt here? This is cake. Okay, and how much cake are we eating? We are eating, cake, 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 cake. We're eating 33 and I'm making uh, 28 and then some. Uh, that belt's 21% full. And our storage is eh, 66. Uh, so you know what? I think we're going to throw in another one of these as well. Uh, all right. So that should be the wrong building. Uh, that should hopefully fix our cake problem. Uh, potato after harvest. Yeah. So all these belts are running at full speed. Yes, they're running at full speed. They're running at full speed. Potatoes running at full speed here. Corn, aha! Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Get those done. Uh, upgrade. Come on. Okay, so that should clear corn out of the system faster. Uh, at the same time, we'll throw any belts in here that I can see. Upgrade those as well. Uh, they're all running at max speed. You have a 450 belt coming in and a 200 belt. The 200 belt is basically empty. So I need to upgrade that and upgrade that and upgrade that. And that should give us more throughput through here. This seems to be traveling all right. Like it's all the left hand belts traveling fine and the right hand belts sort of getting there. And, oop, high spike canola. Okay, can you make another one of these now? Because we do definitely have a overflow for our cooking oil. That part is running, potentially. We just need, um, you know, it to actually do something. And inner is out of things to dig again. Correct. Uh, inner team can instead then pop over here. All right, so with that done, I think I think I need to set up new designations. I also think 
that our food problem is solved. Uh, wrong, wrong build. I think our food problem is solved. There is a possibility I need to extend this, but I think it's just having an issue because we can't get rid of the fuel gas fast enough. And that issue is probably something we're gonna rectify fairly quickly after this takes a little while to stabilize. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I can always add in a second boiler. Where I add the second boiler is a whole different story. It might require a re-wiggle, but um, I'm pretty sure I could do a re-wiggle. And how much glass do we have? 2.8. You know what? We have less than that now. Uh, but this is where we're going to leave today's episode. We have chicken farms up and running. We have more meat up and running. We have more sausage up and running. We have more cake up and running. We have tidied up this little area back here. We've cleaned off the rubbish on the ground. We have uh, finally started burning off our fruit and veggies and turning them into, well, technically something useful. We're, we're making another 15 kilowatts worth of free power out of them. Mm, do I need to double the size of the um, the turbines? Possibly. Do I need to double the amount of boilers? Also possibly. But um, the, it's a system that's probably going to have to run for a little while to just see what our burn rate is to um, see whether they actually need an upgrade or not. And the only way to, to, to find out for sure is, um, well, wait for some time to pass. Yep. But with all that said and done, what we're going to do is we're going to leave this particular episode here. Uh, as always, I do hope you guys have enjoyed. And thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next episode where hopefully I don't need to come and redesign this again and we can work on medical because um, medical is going to be here or here. You guys are giving me good points on why I should build them in both ends, so um, we'll have to wait and see. But you will come back and hopefully find out in the very next episode. Either way, as I said, thank you for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you in the very next video. All right, bye.